Once upon a time, there were. Wait, this isn't how we start church. Welcome to church. church, and find out a little bit later why we've started like that. We are really excited about today's episode, which is all about moving from darkness to light in a slightly different way than last week's was. It's about hope, the amazing hope that we have in Jesus. and We want to tell you all about it today. For today's activities, you're going to need a black bin bag, some paper and some pens. You will also need uh, a piece of cardboard or something that you can punch through that you don't mind breaking. <coughs> We're going to start with a song now, and it's one that we love doing. Alive! and how it talks about Jesus being alive, the hope that we have in that. Today we're looking at hope and we're looking at three different things. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> three statements that can be found in 1 Thessalonians 4, that's a bit in the Bible, and those three statements are Jesus Christ has died, 
Jesus Christ has risen and Jesus Christ will come again. These three things are the foundation of our faith. They're what we believe in and what we hope in. And so we're going to spend some time exploring each of those three things today. We're going to start with Jesus Christ has died. So the first one is Jesus has died. Now, why is Jesus dying something to have hope about? Well, for us to need hope, there needs to be a problem. And the problem is that we do things wrong. I know I do. And why is that good news? Well, it's not good news that we do things wrong, obviously. But the good news is what Jesus does with those things. He took all of the things that we've done wrong. And when he died, he died all of those things. And we've got an activity to help us understand this. We'd love you to join in. We're going to take some pieces of paper. We're using really big ones that we have left over from when we moved house. We're not wasting lots of paper, don't worry. And we're going to write on these really big pieces of paper some of the things that we've done wrong, some of the things that we're really sorry for and we want to say sorry to God. And then we're going to make a pile of them and we're going to throw them into this black bin bag. And then what's going to happen to that? You will find out in a few minutes. So we have got a big pile of rubbish of things that we want to say sorry to God for and we want him to take away. So we're going to screw them up a bit more screw diddly hop. Lee? Screw diddly up Lee. <laughs> Best word ever. And we're going to throw them into the bag. We're going to take this bag somewhere different because we want to show you what it means that Jesus took away our, the bad stuff in our lives uh, and didn't let it come back. So we're going to go somewhere really cool. For part of our filming today, we've been allowed to come to Creswell Crags and do some filming in this... Yeah. And do some filming in this cave which amazingly is called Church Hole. So we're doing church in Church Hole. Sounds great, let's go. Hi, right, so we're gonna be using this cave to represent death because we're, we're saying today that uh, Jesus dying is something that we can have hope in. Why is that? We think it's a little bit like taking this bag of rubbish all of those things that we wrote on, the things that felt horrible and bad and the things that we were sorry for, we put them in this bag. And now we're gonna take them into the cave. Because what Jesus did was he took all of that bad stuff on himself and he took it into death. <gasps> and so we've got this amazing hope because Jesus has taken the bad stuff, the stuff that we've done and the stuff of the world that's bad and he is got rid of it forever into death and we've just found these caves so epic uh, to just give that feeling of what it's like to be in darkness but to be able to see the light uh, or to search for the light in the darkness um, and it just so reminds us of, of Jesus and um, how he is the light of the world and so not only is our bad stuff got rid of gone forever but the way to life is open for us. Jesus has broken the things that are wrong and the death that's broken them. And now we can just walk out. There's no limits on it. We can just go out into freedom, into life, into light. Well, hope. Freedom. Freedom. So Chris, you're really excited about this next bit. Would you like to explain what we're doing? 
Yeah, so like it all comes out of this idea that Jesus has defeated death, like just destroyed death's power. And I was just like, that's so cool. I just want to do something to represent that. I thought it'd be really fun to like karate chop some things that had death written on them so that we could be like, yeah, Jesus defeated you, death. Like that. Great. So I've got some things here. So let's start with this piece of paper that says... Shame. Shame. So, Jesus, karate chops through our shame. Ta-da! That worked. Here we have one that says fear. Jesus, karate chops through our fear. And Chris is going to show that by doing it through this polystyrene. Ta-da! Also worked. This is so much fun. This time, we have bread. Because cardboard didn't work. This one says dark because Jesus karate chops through the darkness. So let's see what happens when we karate chop through bread. Light will defeat you, darkness. Ta -da! <laughs> Crumbs everywhere. And finally, we have death. This piece of tinfoil says death and Jesus is going to karate chop through death. Chris is going to show what that looks like by using the foil. Death, where is your sting? Where is your victory? You are destroyed. Ah! <laughs> well, I can totally see why you thought that would remind you of Jesus. He didn't just kind of come in and get it out of the way. He completely obliterated death, obliterated fear, got totally rid of shame and darkness and all of the bad things in our world. Jesus just <laughs> overcomes them. Now, our final one that we're looking at is that Jesus is coming back again. And that's such amazing news. We're really excited about the fact that one day Jesus will come back to our world. And we want to illustrate why this is something that we're really hoping for. Uh, and I'm going to illustrate it using some playing cards. Uh, so first of all, Ruth, I'd like you to just uh, pick a card, any card you like. Brilliant. Um, and do you want to show everyone which card you picked? And then do you want to just put it down face up on there? Um, and can you grab that pen next to you? Uh, and this is your time to shine because I'd like you to do some artwork for me. Uh, so can you just draw a picture of the world on it? And then can you just uh, sign it in the top corner um, to show that it's completely unique? Um, so there is Ruth's artwork. So I'm just dropping the rest of the cards on the floor. Here is Ruth's artwork. It is beautiful. Um, a beautiful, beautiful world. So when God created the world, it was totally beautiful and good and he created humans to be good. Um, but we've not kept the world in a good place. One of the things we said earlier was that to have hope, there, there's often a problem. And the problem when we look around our world is that we've messed it up. We've not kept it all pristine and nice. We've broken our world. Um, so I'm just going to fold this up like that. And I don't think folding up is, is going to show it enough because I think it's even worse than that. We've, we've properly broken our world. So I'm going to tear this card. You can see like it's, it's really tearing down that middle bit all the way down to the bottom. And then I'm, I'm not, we're not content with that. We're going to tear it across this way as well. So just tear it like that. And when we look around our world, that's what we see. We see a, a world that is broken, that has been messed up by us and by what we're doing. And that needs someone to come and sort it out. But the amazing thing is that Jesus promises that when he comes back again, he's going to make our world new. He's going to change everything. He's going to restore all of the things that were broken and, and remake all of the things that need remaking. It promises a new heaven and a new earth that are going to be even more beautiful than it was to start with. And I, I wonder if we can do that with this card. Um, Ruth, do you just want to blow on it now? And you can see that the card has just reformed what? itself. Uh, and there on the card is Ruth's beautiful drawing of the world, remade new. No way! How did you, what did you? That's so clever! How did you do that? 
magic. <laughs> We've come here to the brightest place that we could find uh, in our whole house because we wanted to talk about how amazing it is, the hope that we have that Jesus will come again like a blazing light in the sky um, and everyone's going to be able to see it um, and it's going to fix everything. This is this is where the happily ever after comes. This is our true happily ever after, that Jesus will come again and he will fix all of the things that are broken in our world and he will give us a new place to live with him forever. And it's from this place of hope in Jesus that we can pray confidently. So let us pray now. God, thank you that you have taken all of our bad things, that you have destroyed them and death. And that you promise that you will come again to fix everything that's wrong in our world. Please would you help us to understand what this means for us. Please would you help us to live excited because you are coming again. And please would you help us to live every day to love you more and to learn about you more. Amen. Amen. We're going to finish with a song because... These three things that we've been talking about, Jesus has died, Jesus has risen, Jesus will come again. They form the foundation of what we believe. And so this song is called, We Believe. Our Father everlasting, the your creator.
saints come 